Good morning. <laughs> this morning I'm going to talk about peace. And I'm not talking about a piece of pie, although that would be pretty good for breakfast. <laughs> um, this week has been, I've had a quite a few things going on this week that just felt overwhelming and even fearful. So yesterday morning, Thursday morning, I thought, you know, I'm just going to read a verse on peace, just one verse. And, you know, and I just prayed for the Lord to just speak to me through that verse. So I thought, I'm just going to read the first verse under the category of peace in the back of my Bible. So I look it up, and it's Leviticus 26.6. And honestly, I thought, are you serious? It's Old Testament. <laughs> like, is this really even going to apply to my life and what's going on right now? But I thought, well, that's what I said I was going to do, and so I just need to be open to whatever God wants to say here. So I look it up. And it actually is quite funny for me, I think. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and read the verse to you so I don't watch it. But the first part of 26.6 in Leviticus says, I will grant peace in the land, and you will lie down, and no one will make you afraid. When I read that, I just instantly started laughing. Because <laughs> the... You will lie down and no one will make you afraid. Just totally reminded me of when I was pregnant with my second son, Bruce. My first son, Wayne, he wasn't quite two. And I remember talking with one of my friends about, like, I just want to lay down. I'm so tired. And, and she was saying that she, with one of her pregnancies, would just lay and take a nap on the floor. And her kids would kind of play around her. And I tried that. And um, he beat me up. <laughs> and so it was like, yeah, I can't do that. And then even my second son, when I was pregnant with our third child, my daughter, Allison, I, you know, would lay down and um, and our second son took to doing it, too. And it's like, wake up, wake up, wake up and beating my head. And, you know, even now, the other day I laid down and they did the same thing. They both just started jumping on me. It's like I lay down and there's a sign that says, oh, please, will you beat my head or jump on me or <laughs> scream in my ear? Because that's always a pleasant thing. <laughs> So when I read that, I just immediately started laughing and thought, yes, please grant peace in my land and make it to where I can lay down and not be afraid. <laughs> but then I also realized that while I was having that reaction that the Lord made me laugh, you know, he helped me to find humor in the scripture and to laugh and, you know, laughter does um, diminish our stress and helps us to relax and I just really thanked him for doing that for helping me to just relax and know that um, you know that I can bring those fears I can bring those things that are overwhelming to me to him and he will take care of them he's going to work it out and it's going to be okay and um, so that that really did help me to, to release those things to him and so I just I just urge you that if you're having a hard week um, or hard month or her gear <laughs> that um, you know I don't know exactly what you're going through but that you would just bring them to the Lord and ask him um, what he has to say to you um, during that time so that we can you know those things are taking up space in our brain and in our hearts but when we release them to him and we give them over to him then we open up that space for him to come in and help us to know what it is that we are to do to further his kingdom rather than focusing on our fears and those things that are overwhelming us. So I just pray peace for you today, and I pray that you have an awesome day.